what's going on guys, got a tutorial for you today um, instead of the usual parkour home games or whatever and it's going to be on how to make Minecraft the redstone for the start so for the 9 pods or 8 pods wait how many have I got? yeah for 8 pods so um, yeah you want to just start off with something like this with the with the 8 holes already drilled in to whatever um, so yeah you kind of want to copy this, obviously dig three down, put a piston on each one, and then add another block on top of that one, so it's uh, like, you know, you can sit on it. And then what you want to do, this is just for the surface, but you want to get something like stone slab, or, no, actually I think a wooden one would stand out a bit better. Yeah, stone one, uh, wooden one, and you want to add one in each corner, so they can't actually jump out but they can actually see where they've got to go but yeah I'd spread it out a bit more because obviously fucking you can grab the chest from where we are but um, yeah you just want to add four slabs like that to kind of uh, make the pods look nice but yeah before you do the redstone I suggest well yeah I'm pretty sure you would do it on creative you know just make things a lot easier um, alright, so, there's the 8 pods, looking nice and swell. You want to have all the chests in the middle, as always. Um, but yeah, on the redstone, in the middle of all the pods, what you want to have is a switch. Alright, and then from this switch, you want to have redstone going to all four, like, um, not the corner ones, just for the moment, do like, yeah, I'll delete these, just put a line going to each one of these four and then for the corners say from this line you want to have it like rooting off into the separate ones but you want to kind of have it equal so the redstone don't run out and you don't have to add no repeaters which might change the time delay but yeah you kind of just want to copy that so four across one across yeah just like that or well, it depends on the scale and if you've done it right you know because you flick the switch and all the pistons will jump up and uh, yeah and you'll be able to move but if you want a, uh, a a big enough delay so you can you know quickly jump around um, and start playing yourself and quickly jump in a pod so it's like you flick the switch already you can sit in the pod and wait um, what you want to do is add a re well if you're gonna have to have it on a much larger scale so you can add a lot of these what repeaters do is um, alright you'll just see it delays it on this one it will delay these three compared to the rest so if I flick switch see that it had a slight time delay alright and the more of them you add the more time delay there will be and you want to put it on the furthest tick away I mean look that's the best delay if you put them close together it's almost the same second third and fourth but yeah, you want to put it on four. So you do same for there, same for there, same for there. Put them all on four ticks. Flick the switch, and they'll go up at the same time. But you want to make sure it's all equal. But yeah, if you want a, just a standard one where the host isn't playing, it's just kind of you know your friends or whatever. You just want to have a standard redstone circuit like that. Just it's a really simple uh, thing, you know, and it's really effective for the start of your Hunger Games map. And then, obviously, if you have this just like on the floor, you know, obviously then you can carry on and build structures and stuff like that. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So yeah, you flick the switch and it pops up, and that's what you can you can use this, or you can use some other like doors that open, like iron doors and stuff. Um, yeah, but that's the redstone way and the most common way. So yeah, if you guys have any other tutorials that you'd like, anything to do with redstone, making an elevator, how anything works or anything like that, just message me on YouTube and I'll release a tutorial on it soon. So yeah, anyways guys, thanks for watching and goodbye.